What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shantia, and I am back with another banger, another word, okay? So listen, y'all, I got a word for y'all today, and the title of this video is Credit in the Kingdom. Credit in the Kingdom, okay? And so God led me to Scripture. He led me to 1 Timothy 6, verses 18 and 19, and it says, Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life, okay? And so, y'all, if we break this scripture down, it's, this scripture is just so, so good. Like, God says you will lay up treasure for yourself as a firm foundation, okay? And so, God gave me the title, Credit in the Kingdom. And so, when God was speaking to me on Credit in the Kingdom... Um, I literally was having a conversation with God and the things that I wrote down was, um, you must build and maintain your relationship with God. Okay. That is the only credit that you need in life. Okay. The only ticket that you need in life. And so the other thing that I wrote was you may not have what man requires you to have, but if you have credit in the kingdom, okay, if you have an account balance that is overflowing in faith, an account balance that is overflowing in trust with God, okay, an account balance that is overflowing in kindness and generosity, okay, when your account is overflowing, your balance is overflowing in faith, you be you will be able to take that account balance into any situation, into any circumstance, okay? And that's why we hear so many miraculous stories about how people have gotten buildings and owned properties and houses and businesses and different things like that because everything according to man said no but because they kept making daily deposits thank you holy spirit because they continuously were making daily deposits deposits of spending time with god deposits of prayer deposits of fasting deposits of meditating deposits of kindness deposits of going above and beyond for over people for other people okay God says, I'm going to return the favor. And so the one question that I wrote down is what deposits, what daily deposits are you making on a daily basis? Because the daily deposits that you make that feed your spiritual man, okay, your mind and your body, things that align with the will of God, those daily deposits begin to add up. And the more that they add up, the more faith that you will have. Well, you will no longer just be having um, the faith the size of a mustard seed, but your faith will be great so that you will be able to take that great faith and to go buy that multi-million dollar home or to go buy whatever it is that you want, okay? Or to acquire whatever it is that you want. And so... um, these are just all the things that God was talking to me about credit in the kingdom, okay? And so in this season, it is important. A lot of y'all are already in the season where you already have credit in the kingdom. And then I have some people on my on my channel who are now just starting to build their credit in the kingdom. And wherever you are, it doesn't matter where you are because we too had to start somewhere. It's just make sure that you are building and maintaining that relationship with God on a daily basis. God is not a religion. He is a relationship. So you have to water it daily. Okay. Talk to him. Communicate with him daily. And so the thing that I wrote down is once you build your relationship with God, it is important because then God will show you how to build and sustain your relationship with others. God will show you how to build and sustain your businesses, build and sustain your marriages, build and sustain your relationship with your kids, whatever it is that you want. Okay, build and sustain your income, multiple streams of income. Let me just rebuke some things off of y'all real quick. Okay, it is not of God for you to live in poverty. It is not of God for you to live in lack okay jesus himself was a multi-millionaire the people in the bible were millionaires if y'all actually pay attention to the gold to the things that they wore to the houses to the palaces that they lived in like those people were wealthy okay god did not call you on this earth to live in poverty and to live in lack that is a spirit okay that is something 
that the enemy is trying to use in order to distract you from your focus, in order to distract you and take your eyes off what God has told you, okay? And so if you are in that season, Job, which I always mention, okay, where, where you're going through testing and stuff, know that that is not the will that God has for you. God called you to live in wealth. God called you to live in abundance. God called you to live in abundance in every area of your life. There should be balance and abundance in every area, in your work, in your family, in your home, in your businesses, whatever it is that you do. There should be an abundance overflowing, a land flowing with milk and honey, okay? And so um, I wrote down, God wants us to live in joy, okay, in peace, okay, overflowing financially, and to trust that God has a plan, okay? And so the last thing I just wrote is, what is your account balance? Maybe some of you are in the negatives when it comes to faith. Maybe some of you are in the negatives when it comes to generosity, okay? But um, you have to do unto others what, what you would want done unto you, okay? And the same grace that you give others is the same grace that God gives you, okay? So know that whatever it is that you are expecting or wanting from others, you must expect and want it for yourself first and you must also be the one to demonstrate it you must also be the one to practice that on a daily basis okay begin practicing it y'all practice it every morning that i wake up i literally exercise i literally practice whatever it is i can practice um you know, like if I wake up setting my attention, okay, today I'm going to the grocery store. Okay, I'm expecting favor. I'm expecting for somebody to go above and beyond for me. That can It can be something as small as I'm in a long line and the ladies like come to the front of the line. It doesn't matter what it is, but you should be walking into every room expecting God to blow your mind, expecting there to be favor, expecting people to go above and beyond for you. You have to walk. Like you are the daughter of a king. You have to walk like you are the son of a king. And the more that you exercise that, the more that you practice those on a day-to-day, -day, daily basis, day-to-day -day basis, it will then in turn just become natural to you. That's what you want. You want things to become your natural identity. And I know that it just doesn't come overnight. There are things that you have to practice. You have to practice faith. You have to practice kindness. You have to continuously pray. Like these are things that you just have to practice, okay? Meditate. Do every single day. So listen, child, this is just a quick word. I pray that you all can receive it, okay? But God is saying, you have credit in the kingdom. You have credit in the kingdom. So in this season, it's not going to be up to what man requires. It's not going to be up to what the world says you have to have or what the world says you must do. God says, because you have credit in the kingdom, because you were banking on my word, because you were betting on God, because you were keeping his promises, because you believed God when he told you what was to come. God is saying you have credit built up in the kingdom and now you're about to cash out. Oh, child, listen, <laughs> God said you about to cash out. Okay. So listen, I pray that you all have a beautiful and blessed day. I will see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Bye.